Welcome to Peripol. My name is Dr. Faiza Brunner. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Perisafe, which is a device used in the peritoneal dialysis. The device was developed at the ATH University in Zurich using eye tracking technology. I will be briefly talking about the benefits of the Perisafe system and will go through the various components of the CAPD and the APD. What are the problems a PD patient can encounter during the PD therapy? There is always an infection risk when manually connecting the tubes during a home dialysis. Just the procedure itself could be difficult for an elderly patient or patients with impairments. The device was developed through the patient's eyes. Patients were asked to wear special glasses which would track eye movements during the entire PD procedure. It was noted there were difficult zones where the eyes would linger because of difficulties in handling the procedure. These were the tubing connection, the clamping of the tubes, and breaking of the frangibles. How does the Perisafe help these patients? The connection is now done in a protected environment, reducing touch contamination. One has to simply move a lever for connection and disconnection. The clamping is replaced by simply pressing on a button. What are the advantages of the Perisafe system? It reduces risk contamination for the patient, it standardizes therapy so that the more patients can do PD and also maintains a good practice over time. It is easier for family members or assisted care nursing staff to help out during a PD procedure. For the patient themselves, it overcomes anxiety. These are the PeriSafe system components. We have the main PeriSafe device. It is a robust mechanical device not requiring any batteries or electricity for it to function. Then you have the Peri adapter, which is connected to the Peri patient transfer set. Then you have disposables, which are differentiated by color for CAPD and APD. For APD, you also have PeriClick. CAPD with PeriSafe. Again, an overview of all the components. You have the PeriSafe device, the Peri adapter, a disposable peri top for CAPD. The main component is the PeriSafe device. It is a simple and uncomplicated device. Here you will see that the device is in a closed and open position. In the closed position, A indicates the lever which one can move up and down. The miniature diagram here indicates when the connection is made and when not. The three buttons are used for clamping and breaking of the frangible. B is the device lid through which one can visualize the connection being made here. The second picture shows the device lid open. Here is where one would position the patient transfer set, which is already connected to the peri adapter. The blue pull-off ring is where the dialysate tubing cap is looped over. The slider, indicated by F, is where the peri top is positioned. The second component is the peri adapter. The peri adapter connects the transfer set to the dialysis bag system. Peri adapter is indicated in the picture by the gray top. This top part is all normally screwed onto the patient line by a healthcare professional at the beginning of the PD therapy. The little knob at the top is replaced by a sterile cap after the procedure. The third component is the peritop disposable. It facilitates the connection of the dialysate tubing to the patient's transfer set. The tubings of the dialysate bag is always placed in these canals marked by A and E. The frangible is always positioned on the right canal and it is denoted by a little marking. The drain tube is always placed in the canal marked by E. The stars here represent the area where the dialysate tubings are clamped. B denotes the slot where the protective knob of the peri adapter is positioned. The peri top also has a new protective sterile cap within the golden protective tab positioned here. The sterile cap has a sponge soaked in iodine solution. Now let us watch a quick video to see how CAPD functions. Place the disposables peritop onto the slider. Take the dialysate tubings and place them in position as shown making sure that the frangible is on the right side.
The latch then is placed in position. The periadapter is connected to the patient line already and this is placed into its slot in the device. Keep the protective tab outside of the device when closing the cover and then it is removed safely. The lever is moved all the way to the top and then down. Now we are connected. With a twist of the patient line the drain commences. Now we twist it closed again. By pressing the first button we break the frangible. Count a minimum of 5 seconds to flush. Then you press button number 2. Now the dialysate fills into the patient's belly once the twist is open. When finished, the patient line is closed with a twist. By pressing button number 3, we clamp the tubing. Now the lever is brought all the way up and down again. Open the device with sterile hands. And you can remove the peri top and the tubings. First spray with 70% isopropanol and wipe dry. The isopropanol is sprayed again and left to dry. This step is repeated with the slider in start position. And now you may close the lid. APD with PeriSafe. Here are the component overview. You have the PeriSafe device, the Peri adapter, the PeriTop APD, which is differentiated by its blue color, and you have the Peri clip. For APD, one needs a Peri click. These are clips which are attached to the patient line overnight so that the line is secure. This is the peritop disposable for APD. The peritop is also placed onto the slider of the device and closed within the sterile gold tab is the new cap which is soaked in povidone iodine. The patient line here is always inserted into the canal marked by A. B indicates the slot for protective nap. For APD, one also requires a false component. This is the periclick disposable. The periclick clamps and secures the patient line and the peri adapter. It is provided non sterile and is for single use. Now let us watch a video with APD using PeriSafe device. Place the peritop onto the slider. The dialysate tube is positioned on the left canal. The latch of the pull-off cap is placed in position over the blue knob. The patient line, which already has a peri adapter in place, is positioned onto the device. The device is closed and the lever is moved all the way to the top and brought all the way down. To secure connection, one half of the periclick is placed over the tubings and then the patient line is removed gently out of the peritop. The second periclick is then attached. The line is now secure for the night. The old cap is removed and the perisafe cover is closed. It remains so overnight. In the morning, with clean hands, the device is opened. One periclick is first removed. The patient line is inserted into position and the second periclick is then removed after that. The tab of the foliae is left out of the device before closing. 
The tab is then removed. The lever is moved all the way to the top and then all the way down. Check to see if the cap is on and closed. Push the lever up. Open the device with close but sterile hands and remove the patient line. Make sure that the cap is on top. First spray with 70% isopropanol and wipe dry. The isopropanol is sprayed again and left to dry. This step is repeated with the slider in start position. And now you may close the lid. Thank you for your interest and I hope you're curious to know more about the PeriSafe system. If you would like to know more, please register with us for CAPD or APD training. We will be explaining more details about various steps there. Bye for now.